Okay, so over the last few videos here, we're gonna take care of some problems and some interesting things. Uh, if you're wondering about some features that maybe aren't covered in the series, don't worry, I'll cover that at the end of this video. Uh, so one of these things that we're running into is this issue where, uh, well, every single new resolution that we add, if it has no goals, is crossed out. And that seems like sort of a weird thing, right? Because if you make a new resolution, you don't automatically want it to be canceled. So in our approach to uh, marking whether or not these were completed, we simply just said, hey, give me all of the goals uh, that were completed, right? Or were not completed. If there's one or more, then go ahead and give us a uh, false here or a true. So basically, uh, what we wanna be doing here is looking at this completed resolver. This is in the uh, resolution resolvers. And what we wanna be doing is taking a bit different of an approach. Well, we could actually say, hey, give me all of the resolutions or all of, I'm sorry, all of the goals that are completed and then compare the two. But the problem with that is really just that it's, that's two database calls. And database calls aren't the most cheap thing in the entire world. And if you can avoid an extra database call, why not? So one thing that we can do is simply omit this completed is equal to false entirely from our find. And what we're gonna be left with is, well, an array of goals uh, regardless if they're completed or not. And you can see that doesn't really change anything for us yet because a lot of these still have no uh, goals. Notice how I'm, I'm actually in the logged out version of the site. You'll remember in the logged in version, I did have some goals on some of these. In fact, let me just do that and just say maybe one or two just so we can have some nice test data to work with. Um, we can have one that has a couple one that has, and we can get this one crossed out. You'll notice the whole thing's totally broken now. Now at this point, if we have a goal, no matter what, the uh, parent resolution is not crossed out. Okay, so let's actually head back to our function. And what we wanna do is we want to filter out the completed goals. So we're gonna say const completed goals is equal to, and then we're going to take our current goals array and do a dot filter, okay? If you don't know about if you don't know about dot filter, it's essentially an array method here that's going to go through each item in this array and will have access to each individual goal inside of a uh, callback function here. And what we'll want to do is return anytime simply a goal dot completed. So in this array, we're simply going to have all of the completed goals. And in this array, we're going to have all of our goals. Now at this point, what we want to do is simply compare whether or not all of our goals is equal to all of our completed goals. So we could do goals.length is equal to completed goals.length. Okay, as in if our completed goals, if there's five completed goals and five goals overall, then this whole thing is going to be marked as completed. Now let me linger on this code for a second so you can see it, but let's head back to our application and see why this still is failing. It's failing simply because for the same reasons that it was failing before. Let me actually go ahead and refresh this. You can see that when I make this workout or this hello, yeah, workout gets crossed out. And again, when I check what's up, test res does not get, but when I check hello, so this aspect of it's working great. However, these empty resolutions are still crossed out. And we can accomplish this very easily. We can do so immediately after finding our goals with this new method. We can say if, goals dot length is equal to zero return false. AKA, if there's nothing in the array itself, then hey, this thing is going to be false as in it's not completed. If we head back here, let's give this page a refresh. So it reruns our queries here. And you can see that now anything that we don't have inside of it is no longer marked as completed. I can say uh, new 
goal on this resolution, hit submit, check it off, and now they're both checked off. So this certainly solves that issue, and you can see when I uncheck these goals, the parent is unchecked as well. So that definitely was an issue with the previous implementation. And stuff like this is gonna, again, show you that you have more control inside of your resolvers than you might think. But always keep in mind what kind of stuff you're doing. Like I said, we could have done a second database call and that would have been way more expensive than doing a simple array filter here. So check it out in this code. We are simply just, again, checking to make sure there are any goals. And then if there are, we're going to filter out the completed ones. Then we're going to compare the completed ones versus the uncompleted ones, incomplete not incomplete. Okay, so this is how we can make this resolver a little bit more bulletproof. Now in the next couple of videos, we're gonna be talking about security stuff. For instance, hey, I'm not logged in, but I can still come in here and make an unauthorized resolution, okay? Like we don't want people to just be able to come in here without an account and add to this global unidentified list of resolutions. So we're going to change that. So in the next couple of videos, we're gonna talk a little bit about security stuff and how we can maybe protect our API with uh, both server side and client side. So as always, this is Scott with Level Up Tutorials. If you want to learn more about GraphQL. Uh, I've released a new series level two React Native with GraphQL that teaches you GraphQL and Apollo inside of the context of React Native. Uh, as well as there's going to be a new pro series called Pro Gatsby that's coming out this this month for all level up pros. Or if you want to learn about CSS, I have a modern CSS layouts course that uses Flexbox and CSS Grid. So as always, thanks so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one as we continue this application and start seeing its end. Oh, and before I go, I did mention at the beginning of this video, I'm going to talk about uh, the finalization of this series because this is sort of an impromptu series. This wasn't necessarily fully planned out. Uh, I do want to make it come to an end so we're not at like 40 videos in this thing. And what I'm gonna be doing instead of that is if you want to see specific things, like I know people are asking for subscriptions or other sort of stuff, if you want to see specific things in Apollo and GraphQL, please leave a comment. And I'm gonna be doing mini series that are maybe like two to four videos long that all of the code is going to come with the video and we can work through it. There'll be a better starting off point, that sort of thing. Or maybe we're even gonna continue on from this app or, or do all sorts of stuff that maybe isn't meteor specific to GraphQL and Apollo. So let me know what you want to see. That stuff is all in the pipeline. As always, this is Scott with Love Love Tutorials. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.